Um, so my question isn't technical, but it's about um, sort of what you do as what seems like a science evangelist and you're here and I've seen you on the Colbert Report a lot. I know you're writing and you're on TV. Um, so what do you think the state of affairs is in science and kids in science and people reading books and America not falling behind all kinds of other countries and what's your what's on your mind when you're going about your work like what do you think your responsibility is and what do you think people like us our responsibility is in a company like Google can you just sort of pontificate about that a little bit uh, we have three more hours of tape is that right <laughs> <Do> we, can <laughs> we <laughs> thanks I'll try to be efficient in my reply first I have very high hopes for the country there are many signs of this one of them is of all the times you may have seen me on television, 85% of them came about not through any action of my own or some marketing group or some product that's being peddled. 85%. They are come about because the universe flinched and the producers want a sound bite and my office is 10 blocks north of their office of their studios. So I'm an easy date. So it doesn't, I don't, doesn't get to my head that they keep coming. I'm an easy date. I try to give them a good sound bite that works, that's truthful, fun to listen to, and makes you want to think and do, and do more. 85%. 15% come about because I've written a book or I, do, or I, I, I host a TV show on PBS. 15%. So where does the other 85% come from? Somebody's deciding that their audience wants to learn about the universe. I'm not twisting arms. I'm not feeding them news stories. I'm at home. We're in my office, minding my own business, and the phone rings. I think that's a good sign, because if producers feel this way, that means if their understanding of their marketplace, they believe that the public feels that way. So that's one. Another one is, way back when I was a kid, you'd have to go months before you came across a science show on television that was not sort of about animals in the, in the jungle or, or the undersea world. Those two were regulars. But for the rest of the science, you go months before you saw a show on the science. Now, anytime you sit down, every other time you sit down, you can land on a, a TV program that's on the universe, on black holes, on the Big Bang, on DNA, on climate. So, so it's there. It's available. There are producers, funders making these products. Third point. The, uh, you say you're worried about kids. I'm not worried about kids, I'm worried about grown-ups, okay? These are the ones who vote. These are the ones who tell you, the world is coming to an end in 2012. Kids don't say that, grown-ups do. I'm worried about grown-ups who say, read my horoscope, tell me where they'll find money tomorrow. Grown-ups say this, not children, okay? Children do not read horoscopes, okay? Children are perfectly happy counting through the number 13. <laughs> Children are not afraid to walk under ladders. They see a black cat cross their path, they say, oh, the kitty kitty, they want to pet it and not run in the other direction. Children are not the problem here. <laughs> Get me started. <laughs> Plus, kids are born curious. They're always exploring. We spend the first year of their lives teaching them how to walk and talk. And the rest of their lives tell them to shut up and sit down. <laughs> so, so there you have it. Plus Obama put science right in his, his inauguration speech. So we want to like hold them to that. And early signs in, the, uh, in his administration and in Congress show that that might actually come to pass. Plus, in America, a capitalist nation, where many people, if not most, don't want to die poor, once you understand the role of innovations in science and technology as an engine of economic growth, then you are left with no other choice but to value and respect not only those who go into sciences, but you value and respect the science literacy of the nation when it comes time to voting monies in support of the, such projects. So that's my answer to your question.